Hey guys, it's Amory, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to show you how I do my wash and goes. So one thing that I really struggle with with my wash and goes is trying to keep my roots from not being so puffy. And I have a trick to this, so if you struggle with this too, this will definitely help you. So I shampooed my hair and deep conditioned it the night before, and right here, I'm just taking it out of my single braid. So I did this just to pre-section my hair. And I already put leave-in conditioner in my hair the night before and now I'm just going to take this Dove Serum and apply that to my hair and then after that I'm going to take this Cantu Shea Butter um, Moisturizing Curl Activator and apply it to my hair and then I'm going to take my Eco Styler Gel, my favorite, the olive oil kind and apply that all over my hair. So as you saw before I just brushed through my hair with the Denman brush and I'm applying more gel to the roots because as I said before my roots get extremely puffy and now to help with that puff I'm just going to twirl the root of my hair around my fingers and then the rest of my hair will be fine and it's going to be curly. So when I'm done with this section all I'm going to do is scrunch my hair up and then leave it alone. Now I just continue these steps throughout the rest of my hair. I'm applying water, sectioning it, I apply my serum all over the hair, and then I put my curl activator on, and then I put my gel on, and I use my Denman brush and brush it out, twirl that around my fingers, and scrunch. And it seems like a lot of steps, and it is, but they are so simple. Anyone can literally do this. Now, I know a lot of people are worried about the Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil kind, and this is really just a trial and error because the olive oil Eco Styler Gel, sometimes it gives me flakes, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what it is with this gel, however, I do like that it has olive oil in it. So, you guys can try like the clear gel, the argan oil gel, the protein gel, but basically figure out whichever gel works for you and continue to use it because you never know really if that gel will act up one day and then be fine the next. So the key to washing goes is basically finding the perfect gel for you and then on top of that just seeing which techniques work for you. Try different techniques out. Do them over again. Do it until you basically have the breakdown on how to make your hair look good every single time. And me doing this, this has worked for me. Now look at this curl definition. Mm. So now what I decided to do with the top of my hair, which is very different, is that I decided to put two twists in the front. And I'm going to tie these together like towards the end. But as you guys can see, I just continue doing the same steps throughout my whole head. Now once I'm fully done with my whole head, I just decide to lay my baby hairs down. To lay my baby hairs, I just took some more of that Eco Styler Gel. Typically I would use the Extra Hold um, Argan Oil Edge Control also, but I didn't do so for this video. Now if you have made it this far, hit that subscribe button. And now this is basically the full look. Well, when my hair is wet, once it dries, it's gonna be popping. Now in the comments below, I want you guys to tell me what do you think my curl pattern is? Because for me, I'm thinking it's around 3B, 3C, and 4A, but I don't know, I need a little help. And this is my hair when it is completely dry. Now, I did not use a diffuser, I just air dried it. And as you guys can see, my hair is big, it is fluffy, and it's movable. It doesn't feel crunchy at all, even though I did not use any oil on it. And here's a little length check for those of you who want to see how long my hair is and how much the shrinkage is. And that's basically it. Easy, right? I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not already. 
hit that like button if you like this video and comment below on what you think my hair type is. Bye!